so my name is Erica and today I'm going to be tier ranking every single book series that I've read. This type of video has been going around booktube for quite a while now. What inspired me was watching a Clockwork Readers video for this, so I'll leave a link to her video down below. Her tier is what inspired my tier, so I used her setting and then I just switched out the books and made my own. So I added all the series that I've read. I have 41 book series that I'm going to be ranking. That's pretty much every single book series that I've read. I did not include some series that I haven't completely finished or a series that I just really didn't like, so I didn't want to include them in this video because it wouldn't be fair. So I do have almost every single book series that I've read over the years from when I was a child, through middle school, up until high school, and now. So that is only 41 book series, which it seems like a lot more, but like I said, I didn't include every single one. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible so it's not like really, really long, so I will be adding a screen cap to it so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing on my computer and how I'm going to be ranking these books. I thought this looked really fun and I really wanted to get in on it because I thought it'd be cool to rank all my favorite books. So let's just get right into it. It. So I have the god tier, the demigod tier, the great tier, good tier, bad tier, and okay tier, and trash tier. Hopefully I won't be putting too many books in trash, but we'll see what happens. I really like the addition of the demigod tier because I was kind of scared that I'd just be putting every single book in god tier because there are a lot of book series that I love. Alright, so the first series is The Archive. This is actually a duology, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. It's good, but it's not something that really stuck with me for a long time, so we're just going to put it in OK. Wait. Something happened. Why are these switched? How do I switch these? There we go. <laughs> I don't know why that was like that. So we're going to put the archived in OK tier, because it's not one of my favorites, but it's not horrible. Next is Scarlet. So this series is actually a Robin Hood retelling with a female character and it's really good but it's not something that's really affected me a whole lot so we're gonna also put that in okay it's not a series that I really think about often A Court of Thorns and Roses of course that's gonna have to go in God tier that is a series I think about all the time all the amazing characters in the story Aragon, this is the Inheritance Cycle. With the Inheritance Cycle, I had a really hard time getting into it. I had to restart Aragon like three times to actually really like it, but once I got into it, I was obsessed. This is going to have to go in great tier. The Bloodlines, this is a second series that comes off the Vampire Academy series. I do really enjoy it, uh, but in comparison to a lot of the other series I have in here, it's going to have to be in okay. Okay, The Infernal Devices. This is the superior trilogy in the Shadowhunter world. It's going to have to go in God tier. Out of all the Shadowhunter books, The Infernal Devices is the best series for sure. If you guys haven't read The Infernal Devices and you want to get into the Shadowhunter world, you should definitely check it out. Okay, Scythe. I loved the first two books. I loved Scythe and I loved Thunderhead. But the toll really kind of brought this series down for me, so I'm just going to have to put it in great. Because I do really love the first two books, but the toll kind of let me down. Shadow and Bone. This is the Grisha trilogy, which I do really enjoy. It's not quite as awesome as Six of Crows, but you can really see Leigh Bardugo's writing grow once she comes from this series into the Six of Crows duology. Um, I'm going to have to put it in... I should put it in great. We're gonna put it in great for right now. I think it'll stay there. Okay, the Twilight series. <laughs> when it first came out, I did not want to read it because I wasn't really into the hype of it and everyone was really obsessed and I didn't want to be a part of all that. I was trying to do my own thing. Once I did read it, I actually did really enjoy it. But I'm gonna have to put it in trash. It's not actually trash. I know a lot of people love it and I really went through a phase that I loved it a lot and obsessed over it. But overall, I'm just going to have to put something in trash and it's going to have to be Twilight. Okay, Vampire Academy. I love Vampire Academy. It became one of my favorite series when I was in high school. I used to still consider it one of my favorites. And I do really love it, of course. But now, I don't know, I'm kind of rethinking it. I'm going to have to put it in great. Wow, I haven't put any in Demigod, good or bad. <laughs> okay, the Saga series. This is a graphic novel series. It's the only one I included in here. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna have to put in Demigod because sometimes I just can't stop thinking about how it ended. Well, we're still waiting for the next book, but, you know. Okay, Carve the Mark. 
Carpet Mark I have some issues with, but I did really like it when I first read it, so we're going to put it in good. The Lord of the Rings trilogy, of course, is going to have to be Demigod, just because it's iconic, it's one of the best high fantasies of all time, and we have those amazing films that came out of it. Wicked. So this is the Wicked Year series. Wicked the Musical is based off the first book in this, about the Wicked Witch of the West, and how she's like really misunderstood. I love this series. However, the first book is better than the rest. I mean, the others are pretty good, but I'm going to have to put it in good. Starflight. This is such a fun series, I think. I think it was only a duology. I really did enjoy it. I had no expectations going into it. I don't really think about it too much, so we're going to put it in... Oh, okay or good? We're going to put it in good, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I do really like this series. But it's not one of my favorites. I I don't know. I'm not actually finished with the series. I, I still have to catch up on the last two books. So I think I'm going to put it in... Uh, I kind of want to put it in okay. And I don't want anyone to get mad at me for that. Because it is really amazing. But it's not one of my favorites. So we're going to put it in okay. The Madman's Daughter. This series is based off a classic about being on an island. And the father is creating these weird monsters with animals and whatnot. I don't remember what classic novel it's based off of, so I'm sorry. I'm going to have to put it in... I did enjoy it at the time, but looking back, it doesn't really have a huge place in my heart anymore, so we're going to put it in bad. It's not actually bad. It's actually a really good series, and you guys should check it out. The Darkest Minds is actually my favorite dystopian series. While I'm not a huge dystopian fan, this one did stay with me for a while, so I'm going to put it in good. Stalking Jack the Ripper, I'm not, like into it that much. The first book was good. It's very intriguing, very interesting, very dark, and I like the mystery of it, but by the last book I was honestly really tired of the characters and some of the stuff that was happening. I'm just going to put it in bad. It's not bad at all. Like, I actually do enjoy this series, but I'm going to have to keep it in bad for right now. Actually, I don't know. It's not bad. Maybe we'll move it to okay. Okay, that, that's fine. Three Dark Crowns. I really did love this series a lot. By the end, it wasn't as good as it had started, and I was a little annoyed at some of the things that happened, but overall, I'm going to have to put this in great, because I really love the world building, and the uniqueness of the magic system, and the idea of it all, so it's really lovely, and I'm just going to have to keep it in great. Nevernight. By now, you guys should know that I love the Nevernight Chronicles so much. Definitely one of my new favorite series. I'm going to put it in God tier. I can't even get it up there. Hold on. <laughs> there. Okay, Throne of Glass, something that has affected me, of course. And I love the story and the characters for the most part. Whoops. We're going to put that in God tier. So God tier is reserved for the series that really have stuck with me, that have a really special place in my heart, that I'll always think about the characters no matter what. And I talk about these books all the time. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, I think I actually only read two of the three books, but it is really fun, but we're only going to put it in good. Matched is another dystopian trilogy, not one of my favorites at all. I did read the entire trilogy, which was kind of surprising for me, but I'm going to put it in trash. <laughs> it is decent, but for me, I just wasn't a huge fan. Okay, City of Bones, this is the Mortal Instruments series. When I first read it, I thought it was only three books, and all of a sudden, she came out with three more. So, that was a great surprise. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put it in Demigod. I love the Mortal Instruments, but I'm not quite as obsessed with it as the Infernal Devices. So, next up, we have Cinder from the Lunar Chronicles. This series took me by surprise. I didn't actually think I would like it, since it's, like, kind of fairy tales, but in space. I just thought it was a weird concept, but no, it's executed so wonderfully, and this series means the world to me and the characters, so we're going to put it in, we're going to put it in great. Next up, we have The Name of the Wind. The Name of the Wind is such an incredible high fantasy series. It's the King Killer Chronicles. Unfortunately, it is only two books right now. The third book was supposed to be written like a while ago, I think, but I guess they're still working on it. It is supposed to become... A TV series, I want to say. I can't remember, but we're going to put The Name of the Wind in Demigod. The books are almost a thousand pages each, so I was super intimidated by it, 
but I ended up really loving it and it's actually one of the best high fantasies you can start out with because there's not a whole lot of characters you're following, you're only following one character and the writing is just really well done so it's not hard to follow. You're getting a lot of world building but not in a really overwhelming way. So it's really good if you're new to high fantasy and want to start out with something not too crazy like Game of Thrones right here. <laughs> I love the Game of Thrones series. I still have to read the fifth book. It does mean a lot to me so I am going to put it in Demigod. Okay, The Illuminae Files. This is a trilogy by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. It's sci-fi. It's written using really cool like dialogue systems or like messaging, video footage. It's really amazing. I love what they can do. There's a lot of really cool graphics in there. Very emotionally like heart-wrenching <laughs> and powerful and it's just a wild ride. We're gonna put that in Demigod. Okay, Divergent. Not a huge fan of this series. I did really like it when I first read it, but now I'm just kind of like indifferent about it, so we're gonna put it in bad. It's of course not a bad series, it's just not as good. <laughs> okay, the Fallen Kingdom series, high fantasy. It is sort of like the YA version of Game of Thrones. I did really like it when I read it. I did have a lot of problems with it when I was reading it. Very middle grade writing at times. Sometimes the character development was a little cheesy or not that great. So we're going to put it in good. Next up we have the series of unfortunate events. I read this as a child and I really enjoyed it. They're really simple, small books. Uh, well, it has stayed with me. I'm going to put it in good. They're amazing books and they're really good for you know, young readers. Next up we have Fable Haven. This series I read in junior high. Definitely one of my favorites. I love the adventure, I love the characters, and just the concept of it was really lovely. There are really beautiful images in there that help you visualize a lot. And just the descriptions are nice and I really need to reread it. So we're going to put it in great because I love the Fable Haven series. Okay, the Harry Potter series. Okay, I'm struggling with this one right now. I love Harry Potter, of course. This series meant the world to me when I was in elementary school. While I still really love it, I have grown up reading a lot of other books that have affected me a lot more than Harry Potter. And I love Harry Potter and I do love reading those books. And it does mean a lot to me. I'm not gonna put it in... I should put it in at least Demigod. Y'all, I'm struggling. I'm just gonna put it in Demigod because it is... The Harry Potter series. Ugh, I don't know. We're going to leave it there for right now. Okay, Lady Midnight. This is the Dark Artifices series. And I am still reading Queen of Air and Darkness. So, I like the Dark Artifices. Not quite as much as the others. So, we're going to put it in Demigod. Just because all the Shadowhunter books mean a lot to me. And I, they have a really special place in my heart. Okay, the Percy Jackson series. I feel like this series got really overhyped. But then there's a lot of people who haven't actually read it. But it is really good, it's not something that I'm obsessed with, and I feel like, I mean it is a middle grade series, but I'm just going to put it in okay. I mean it is a really good series, but when I compare it to the other books I've read, I'm just kind of meh about it. Okay you guys, this is it. Six of Crows, of course, has to be in the god tier. Can I even get up there? Did it make it? No! It went into Demigod. It has to be the god tier, of course. Favorite book. These all kind of have like similar colors, which is awesome. Okay, The Cruel Prince. This is the Folk of the Air trilogy that I actually just read. I just finished The Queen of Nothing only a couple weeks ago. I did really like it. I thought some of the writing was a little mediocre and the characters were made kind of eh at times. I just feel like they were written really poorly in some moments, but I did really enjoy this trilogy. I didn't have a whole lot of expectations going into it, so I'm going to put it in great. Only three left, everyone. Here we go. The Hunger Games. I liked the first two Hunger Games books. It was really overhyped when I was reading it, <laughs> of course, like all books I feel like are nowadays. But I am not the biggest fan of it anymore. I'm going to have to put it in bad. It's not bad. I just hated the last book. I just felt like every book was almost exactly the same. Like the same things were happening, the same conflict. It just wasn't that exciting to me after a while. Like it could have been one book and I think it would have been fine. The Lux series I read when I was in college, <laughs> I enjoyed it at the time, but now I would probably never reread it. So we're just gonna put it in bad. Last but not least, the Pendragon series. This was my favorite series that I read in junior high. I obsessed over it and I even like joined a forum like page about it and was really into that for a really long time. 
which was not healthy because I was really obsessed and there were a lot of really negative people. That series is what really got me into reading, so I think I'm just going to have to put it in Demigod because while I do really love it still, it's not God worthy to me anymore. But that's it. That's every book series that I've read all ranked. I'm pretty happy with this. I think that I used Demigod in a really nice way. I didn't put a whole lot of books in God tier because of the nice Demigod tier. I'm glad that was added. The Great tier, I'm pretty happy with this. Good tier, yes. I mean, I could probably switch some of these around. I was having a hard time with Good and Okay. But overall, I'm pretty happy with my tier ranking. Alright guys! I just ranked every single book series that I've read for the most part, and I thought that was pretty fun. I really like this idea of tier ranking books. I honestly thought I was going to be ranking books really high, but I'm glad that I was able to put some in okay and good and bad and trash even. <laughs> if some of your books ended up in the lower piles, I apologize. I had a lot of fun doing this. I think it's a really fun and creative way to see your books and see what you've read. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a nice little thumbs up. If you want to keep following me on this booktube journey, please subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Erica A. Gobble. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!